IronCAD now has the capability to add the uh, IntelliShape taper to the uh, bill of materials for the 2D drawing. So we look here and the uh, start and end section of these uh, sheet metal tubes have uh, an angle uh, miter to them there and that's uh, you know set at the IntelliShape uh, reshaping level. So we can go ahead and make a drawing of that. I'll open a new template and just create a, a general view to get started here. Shaded rendering and place the view. Okay, now we can go in and create a bill of materials. I'll pick the parts only and we're going to go ahead and uh, change the light uh, row based on status to instance just to uh, update and show the different uh, types of tubes there. And we'll edit the bill of materials here. I want to insert some columns for the uh, what we'll have for the overall length of the parts and for the uh, taper. And I'll just reorder those to the end there. And we'll double click the column header and uh, enter length here. And we'll associate that to the size box heights because that's going to represent the length of our tubes. And double click the next uh, column here. That'll be the first angle. And we'll set that to start taper. And do the same on the second uh, angle. And set that to the end taper. Okay, and then we update the bill of materials. And you see it gives us the length, the first angle and the second angle right there on the bomb good for manufacturing. Uh, we can go ahead and add in some uh, item bubbles there just to denote the uh, parts. And that uh, finishes up the bill of materials.